the Stanley Adventure Series all-in-one fry pan set. Stick around, guys. Hey, hey, YouTube, welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Today, guys, I'm going to try out two new products. One of which I've had for a long, long time, but I've never used it because it stays in my blackout bag only for emergencies. But I figured this would be a great opportunity to put it to the test. And then the second one, as you saw in the intro, is my new Stanley Adventure Series fry pan set. So, without further ado, let's get started, guys. So, the Stanley all-in-one fry pan set is something that I'm going to start using in conjunction with my Stanley cook kit, which I've done videos on before. And it's got the stove and all the stuff in there with it. This is made by the same company. And um, in addition to carrying this, I'll be carrying this when camping. Okay? This is what I'll carry when I go backpacking. Or just for a day hike. Or just for a day out in the woods. Because when I'm using this is when I'll be eating most likely just heat and warm meals. Mountain house, so forth. Maybe a can of beanie weenies. Um, I just need to boil water, you know, for something. This is what I'll take backpacking. But when I go camping, I'm going to want to cook more so I'm gonna need a frying pan this Stanley all-in-one set you'll see that it is a nine piece nesting set and it has a serving for up to two people it has a locking fry pan handle some of the other features of it you can see what's included in it here okay so it comes with the frying pan okay it comes with a detachable spatula that comes into two pieces. It comes with two sporks. It comes with a chopping board. It comes with a resting plate that's rubberized so you can put it on hot stuff. It comes with two plates and then it comes with a top to cover everything up. And the handle folds. Some of the features of it, it has 18 by 8 stainless steel, it is BPA free, it's a three ply frying pan. So the bottom of it has stainless steel on the bottom, a layer of aluminum, and then another layer of stainless steel to create the bottom. That three ply frying pan construction is supposed to evenly distribute the heat and eliminate hot spots, which is great. So, we're going to open this up now. I just got it in yesterday. Haven't opened it yet. Let me grab my knife so I can get that open. All right. It says here that Stanley has survived negative 70 degree wind chill, speeding bullets, 4,000 foot drops, and category 5 hurricanes. Sounds like it's pretty tough. I don't think I'll be putting it to all that. Well, I can tell you, as soon as, as, soon as I take it out, I can feel the heft to it. I can feel the quality which is Stanley. Stanley is known for that. Very good quality. So, let's open it up now. The top 
is supposed to fit on there tightly. I did see some people that complained about the top not staying on securely. And I can see why that might be a bit of an issue. It's not locking on. On one side it is, but not on the other. So that was the only negative thing I saw on all the reviews that I watched. But that can be fixed with a band. So this could be used to place items on as a preparation area while you're cooking. The next item you'll find is a cutting board. Good, thick, solid, nice cutting board. Nestles in there. Some fire starter material. Here are the two sporks, which, I don't know, they seem a little flimsy, probably under something really hot. I don't know. I'll tell you what my plans are for these in a moment. And then here's the spatula. You can see it snaps together like that. It won't fit like that. That's why they made it in two pieces to where it comes apart to fit in there. Then you have the two plates. And they're kind of small. You can see even a little smaller than my hand, but they would they would work in a camping situation. Hey, just go back for seconds, right? But they're durable. They don't bend easily. So they'll hold something pretty significant. And here's a little thing, I think it's called a trebuchet, I don't know. You put it on a something that you don't want to burn if you want to put your pot on it. Or, what you can do is, if the handle gets hot, and I don't know if it will or not, you can use this to grab the handle to pick it up so you don't burn your hand. So that comes with it as well. So that's what's included in the set. Now, a couple of things I'm going to add to it before I try it out here. I'm going to keep, and I want to make sure it fits, so that's why I'm doing this. So we've got the little trebuchet thing. We've got the plates. My plans are to replace these cheaper sporks with two sets of these UCO eating utensils. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with these or not, but I want to see. I've got them just held together with a little carabiner. But you've got a much heavier. You see how that doesn't bend compared to the Stanley one? This doesn't bend. But you also have a fork a spoon. So you have a separate fork and spoon. And then, if you put them together, you can have a long spoon or a long fork. But, you also have a knife for cutting meat or what have you. I wanted to see if these will fit inside. And look at that. They do. But let's see if they'll fit with the spatula. They do. Let's see if they'll fit with the cutter. They do. And let's see if they'll fit with the top. They do. So, that's great. I'm going to replace these with the UCOs. Now, what I'd also like to be able to do is I'll cut a piece of this sponge. Probably, well... Cut a piece of this sponge about that small to put in there to help with cleanup. I don't know if it'll still fit, but if, if I put a paper towel in there, that's not going to fit. I can keep that with my other stuff. So the only thing I'm changing is I'm taking out the two cheaper Stanley Sporks, adding the UCO spoon-knife-fork combination, 
and I'm going to add a little piece of sponge just to help with cleaning. All right, so now that we know what is included, let's put it to use, okay? What we're going to need to do is a little bit of food prep. So I'm going to take this cutting tray here. Let me tilt this down a little bit. I'm going to take this cutting tray here, and I have already prepared in some aluminum foil a potato that I took the liberty of peeling earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some potatoes and I'm going to chunk them. And again, this, this top works good to keep excess stuff on when you're not using it. And uh, I'm just going to cube some of these potatoes here. And uh, I'm a meat and potatoes kind of guy. Like I say, if I'm backpacking, I'll usually just take that Stanley set and I'll eat a mountain house meal or something that just needs to be warmed up, not necessarily cooked. Can of soup, pot of beans, something like that. But when I go camping, I like to splurge a little bit. And I like to actually cook some stuff. So uh, I'm going to cut one more row of this. And then I'll save the rest of this potato for another time. Since I'm cooking for just myself right now. But I'm going to see how these potatoes do in the new pot. So let me go ahead and set up the stove and uh, I'll be right back. Alright, so now that we've got this stove set up, oh, I need to turn, turn that over. And this is just a butane stove. Works on butane fuel by Coleman. You just simply put it in and then you do that. Turn it on. Get out your damn big lighter and light it up. There you go. Now we got a flame going. What we're going to do is we're going to take our pot. I'm going to add a little bit of oil. This is just some cooking oil that I keep when I go camping or backpacking. Just enough for one serving. Put that in there. We're going to let that get nice and heated up. I'll show you what else I'm going to add after the potatoes. A nice steak that I've been marinating for since earlier today. Like I said, I'm a meat and potatoes kind of guy. I'm curious to see if that three-ply construction does cook evenly around. All right, I can feel that's getting hot. Take just a small piece of potato. And we're starting to get a little bit of sizzle. I have here a little jar that's got some sugar, I mean some salt, some pepper, and some garlic powder in it. I'm going to take some of that and get a little bit in my hand. Sprinkle it over these potatoes just for a little bit of flavoring. Salt, pepper, and garlic powder, that's all it is but it ought to give a good amount of flavor. All right, that looks like it's going pretty good. So let's go ahead, using our spatula. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Now I'm gonna take the camera and give you a close up here. If you'll notice how evenly around it is, it's, it's heating here as much as it's heating here, here, and here. Now it is a little bit on a slant. My table's a little slanted this way, so it's a little, a little deeper down here. But you can see that it is still boiling up at the top. So that displacement is as stated. 
even displacement of heat. Man, it smells great. If we had smell -o vision you guys would be loving it right now. Alright, so we're going to let that cook up for a little bit. This spatula turns out to be very useful. Oh yeah, they're getting nice and brown there. Nice and brown. You notice the spatula is not bending up in that hot grease? Seems like the spatula is a lot better made than the sporks were. I have to admit I was a little bit disappointed in the quality of the Stanley sporks. But these UCO, if you guys haven't checked these out, you can get these at Walmart. The fork, the knife, and the spoon set relatively inexpensively. And they're much higher quality. And these knives, actually I'll show you how they cut the steak that I'm going to have. But, uh, yeah, so I think that's going to be a good addition to this fry pan set. Yeah, these potatoes are looking pretty good. I like mine kind of brown. And they're looking just about ready. What do you guys think? Looking pretty good. Sounds great. Smells wonderful. Alright, I'm going to put my chopping board over here. I'm going to take one of these plates and I'm going to start putting these potatoes in there. Let's see how the plate holds up to something hot. Oh, I dropped a potato. Oh no! I dropped a potato. The oil is still hot. I haven't turned it. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. But this handle is really not hot. Now up close towards the front, it is. But the handle really is not hot. But I can always take this and hold it. And it's not going to be so hot. Alright, I'm going to go dispose of this oil in a proper container. And I'll be right back. Alright, so now it's time for the main ingredient. We're going to put in a little dab of butter. Because who doesn't like butter, right? You've got to have your butter. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. That butter going around there. Grab my steak, put that bad boy on there. Oh yeah guys, there you go. I tell you what man, no food is better than food that is prepared outdoors. I'm convinced of it. Man, I swear I wish we had smell of vision You'd love it. Quite a few potatoes. Oh, speaking of which, let me go grab one of them. Just for a taste test. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to eat all of them right now, but... Oh, yeah. Crunchy on the outside, soft and tender on the inside. Just enough seasoning. That's great. Alright, yes, the red light is on. You guys, I am so pissed at myself. The whole rest of the video with the steak finishing the cooking and me taking it off 
And then there was a whole section that I did on cleaning the pan with just water and a sponge. Ended up being two pictures instead of two videos. Well, I'm so mad at myself. I don't even remember what I said, what all I said. But the end result is, what was the finished product? So, let me show you. Now, this is the pot. I haven't scrubbed it with a Brillo pad or used OxyClean or anything. This is just what I used to clean it um, with that one little piece of sponge and some water from the hose. What you might find while camping. Um, you can see the inside, of course, has got some, some black in it that needs to be scrubbed heavily. But right now, it's clean enough. If I rub my hand in it, you can see it's clean enough that I can put everything back in there and uh, fold it up, nestle everything back in there, pack it away, go home, do a proper cleaning when I get home. Now, how did the food turn out? Well, let's take a look at it. Let me get it focused down here for you. There you can see the steak and the potatoes turned out excellent. You already saw the potatoes. Let me show you how well this knife cuts this steak. Look at that. Now I like my steak medium with a pink center as you can see there. And I like my potatoes like I already said. So, turned out great. The steak is awesome. I've already eaten a couple of pieces. The potatoes are awesome. The pan did great. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. Am I going to sit here and eat the rest of this steak? Absolutely. Am I going to do it in front of you? No, that would be rude. So, until next time, keep calm, carry on, and keep it outdoors.